120 Years of Oz, Decade by Decade, in One Minute. Hi, I'm Oz historian John Fricke. By the end of the 20th century, Oz had become an integral part of American popular culture. The dialogue from MGM's Wizard of Oz was so familiar that it was being quoted or paraphrased in other movies, in TV shows and sitcoms, in newscasts, in editorial cartoons, in sermons, you name it, and it's a practice that continues to this day. Oz on stage turned up in all kinds of new incarnations. There was the Wizard of Oz in concert, the Wizard of Oz on ice, and a live recreation of the MGM film using that dialogue and those songs. In terms of books, prolific author Gregory Maguire created a whole new Ozian world of his own in his novel Wicked. It was complexly written, adult, violent, all about the witches of Oz and a runaway success. But one of the nicest things about the 1990s is the fact that many of the surviving MGM Oz munchkins began making personal appearances all over the country. And to meet the little people in person was a thrill for countless hundreds of thousands of fans.